Okay everyone, I ran some tests and verified there are four different methods that let you play Diablo 4 on your Mac. In this video, I want to tell you about them, but first, we need to get something important out of the way. Two of the suggested methods use cloud gaming, but why would anyone prefer this over local play? The main reasons in my opinion are the ease of use, the convenience, and the ability to play with much better performance on weaker machines. The two local methods are okay options for Diablo 4, but they can sometimes encounter bugs and are heavily reliant on your Mac specs, so if you've got a weaker machine, they aren't ideal. On the flip side, cloud gaming lets you circumvent all that and just enjoy the game without worrying about performance or debugging. This brings me to Boosteroid, the first cloud-based suggestion I've got for you. But is this service even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? From my personal experience with both Diablo 4 and other games I've played in Boosteroid, the platform works very well as long as you've got a decent internet. Obviously, there's bound to be some minimal delay when using cloud gaming, but it's just not something that had any effect on my time with Diablo 4. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boosteroid is actually ahead of the curve here, as it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120 FPS. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so I can honestly recommend it, especially for Diablo 4. Using Boosteroid is super simple. Just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account. Then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. If you want to try out Boosteroid, go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. But this only applies to M3 devices and up, which limits its usefulness for now since older Macs don't have this advantage. To get the best possible Boosteroid experience, I recommend getting its dedicated macOS app and streaming games through it. Regardless of codecs, the app has better image quality and higher possible bandwidth, up to 80 megabits, with less bugs overall than the browser version. To get the app, go to your profile page after you subscribe and click on applications to download it. Then just install the app, open it, log in, and you are ready to start playing. Most of what we said about Boosteroid applies here too. GeForce Now is an easy, reliable way to play this game on your Mac. The bandwidth demands here are a bit higher, but nothing your regular internet connection can't handle. In my tests, there was virtually no difference in the streaming quality between Boosteroid and GFN, both at 1080p and 4K. Choosing between the two will usually boil down to personal preference and what other games you want to play, since not all Boostoid titles are on GFN and vice versa. Setting up GeForce Now is also easy. Follow the link in the description. Click the Join Now button, pick a plan, and begin your subscription. Then get the GFN app from the download section, log in, and first go to its settings. On the right, find the respective game store, click Connect, and enter your logins to link your game store profile to the app. Then return to the game section, search for the game and launch it. GFN will run a quick internet check after which the game will start. If the connection test warns you of weak internet, you can still start the game, but you should know the streaming quality may not be great. In such cases, I recommend tinkering with the connection settings in the app to lower the bandwidth demands and possibly improve the stream smoothness. If cloud gaming's just not your thing, then I've also got a two alternative methods that let you download and run Diablo 4 locally. The first local solution is Crossover, a compatibility layer tool that lets you download and run the PC version of Diablo 4. Based on reports from the Mac gaming community and my own testing, I concluded that Crossover is a very good option for playing Diablo 4 on Mac. The game is rather demanding, but compared to other titles I've played in Crossover, the fact that I am using translation layers has very little effect on performance. In other words, this method for playing Diablo 4 on Mac gets you pretty close to the native PC experience. Also, I didn't encounter any bugs or other problems, so I didn't need to do any troubleshooting. Just installed it through Steam in Crossover and started playing. And if you've got the game through Battle.net, you can play it through there too. The Battle.net launcher works just fine in Crossover. Now, if you want to try this method too, here's how. Follow the respective link below, register and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial, which is what I recommend. After crossover downloads, launch it, install the app, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to Install, find Steam, and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it, enable D3D Metal and M-Sync, and then start Steam again. Next, find Diablo 4 in your Steam library and install it. After the install completes, you are ready to start the game through Steam in your crossover bottle. Whiskey is crossover's free but jankier cousin. 
It technically works on the same principle as Crossover, but it's no longer supported by its dev and it's prone to encountering even more bugs and errors. Honestly, its sole draw is its $0 price tag, but everything else about it is just worse. You can give it a try if you want, but be warned that the hassle to get it to work may not be worth the money you saved. I simply cannot fit in this video all fixes, workarounds, and stopgap solutions that different users may need to apply to get Diablo 4 running smoothly in Whiskey. Therefore, I'll just show you the general way to set up Whiskey and install games in it. For a more detailed discussion on the do's and don'ts in Whiskey, check the article link in the video description. Now to set this up, First download the latest version of the Whiskey app from the provided link below and extract the zip file in your applications folder. Then you must create a new bottle with Windows 10 or 11 compatibility, then download an older version of Steam for Windows by clicking the respective link in the description. In Whiskey, click Run, open the installer, and install Steam in the Whiskey bottle. Next, you just need to download the game through Steam and start it from there. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time!